at SneakerCon Dallas, and we got the booth set up, but we got one problem. So y'all know I be displaying my shoes, and I bring out 24 pairs every single time. Shout out to Sneaker Throne, by the way, because I love these cases. You already know, link down below. Today, you know, I got some Oregon stuff. I brought some older stuff. We even brought some nostalgic stuff with the Black History Month 3s. Great. We got some of the more heat, you know, stuff that people like. But this is the issue that I got. You see this right here? I brought 23 pairs and I'm supposed to bring 24. I messed up. So because of that, I gotta go buy a shoe to fill the case so we can have a nice display because it, it just, it's not right if I don't do it this way. So I'm gonna hit the event, see what I can find. Wish me luck. We're looking for something nostalgic. And we're gonna try to fill up this case. All right, I'm on the hunt for something nostalgic. Something that makes me have a good memory. You know, I like to put the samples and the peas and stuff in there, but we really need that item that's like, oh, good times type thing, you know? Something I don't have that I need to get back in my collection. We'll see how this goes because y'all know how it is. Most of these tables is like off-white, okay, cool. Travis Scott, okay, cool. Then you got Jordan 4s, Jordan 1s, the same old stuff. So, or you know, actually another good item would be, I need the Kobe, uh, Mamba Citas. I still need to get those too. So honestly, that might be a good one too. We could, would you think that'd be a good one to add? We can add that. Let's see what they got. See, uh, I see a lot of Ama Fours. Ama Fours have been very, very affordable lately. And honestly, I'm not mad at that at all. They got the Kobe. Uh, nope, not my size over there. Um, see all these tables. Let me show you guys what the tables are. Actually, hold on. Before I show you the tables. Let's go to the pit. Let's see what they got in the pit. This is a good one right here, but it's not my size. It's a great shoe. Nostalgic. Give you a good vibe from the early basketball era. Kobe, LeBron, KD. A lot of stuff coming up. See? Okay, this is standard stuff over there. I'm looking for... I'm looking for... Should I get a big red boots? I ain't getting a big red boots. Okay, hold on, hold on. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, this table, no, this is all new stuff too. Just a quick walk through right there. They got like Thunder Fours and stuff over here on this side. But everything is, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's a custom. Ah, oh, damn, I was about to say, I thought that was this fire SB. Oh, speaking of that, I could get some SBs too. Maybe get a little nostalgic SB. But you know the other struggle is what? I'm a size 13, and when you know, you know the struggle, y'all. Where's my? What's up, bro? How you doing? Help me find a size 13. Size 13? What shoe? I need something. I need something nostalgic, no, I got bro. Nothing. Dang. I appreciate it, bro. Yep. Can't do it. All right, I'm back to the tables. I'm coming out of the pit right now. But what was I saying? I'm kind of rambling off. We're just vibing. Y'all walking around with me. You know, normally we be all extra mic'd up, making it happen. But today. Today I got time. No, really, I don't got time today. Ooh, this is going right here. There you go. History of Flight Pack Air Jordan 4. That's a good one right there. Uh, I'm looking for something nostalgic, you know, like like something like this. You know what I'm saying? Laser 4 or something. It's another good one. I'm a 13, though. You're 13? Yeah. 13. I literally was just what. No, that's not nostalgic. This pack, I got that pack already. This ain't gonna cut it. I need something like older. I need something older. Older? I'm looking for something Chicago. old. Some. I got those. No, we gotta go farther back than that. Like some older shoes. Off-white? This is kinda older, but like, you know what I'm saying? People people like those, but it looked like a 13. Uh, yeah. How much is the Bel Air? 550. It's used, used pair, brand new. Why they creased up right here? Am I tripping? I need something old. I need something older. Ooh, that's a good one. 2006. I was about to say that's a good one right there. What size is that? Ten and a half. That's a ten and a half. Damn. I'm a thirteen. Ooh, this is a small size too. This is a good one right here. Hey, when they get old like this, hold on, let me show you guys. Let me put this, let me switch it for you right here. All right, this one for the people. So, when you got an older shoe like this, if you feel like on the gum area, you'll see that it gets real sticky, real tacky because it's so old. So, if somebody tries to sell you a pair and they're like, oh, it's the OG or whatever, or they say it is, watch out for stuff like that. It's an easy indicator to let you know the shoe is actually old because of age. Those are the type of things that happens when you find shoes like this. So, 
Also, it can fall apart, the glue, all the stuff. Yep. So it's kind of like a trophy piece item at this yep. point. I have a flu game since uh, 1997. Okay. The, it's, it's starting to crumble on yeah. it. it, it Yep. They look so nice. I got the 17s with like, the briefcase and they're all like sticky on the yep. inside. I'm like, no. But it's such a good shoe. Yep. Hey, these are fire, bro. Oh, yeah, that's a good one right there. Yep. I like that. Well, I'm on the hunt. I'm looking for something nostalgic in a size 13. Size 13. Wish me oh. luck. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is the hard part. It's just like we can find something that's like more nostalgic. Oh, look, they got Miss Fours over here. This is a good one. Look at this one right here. They got Miss Four. So that's a size eight and a half. Y'all know I need a size 13, y'all. I'm struggling out here right now. So okay, they got the Galaxy Phone Posit. That was huge for the era of Nike basketball. But you know, those are supposed to be coming back out. That's what they say. The question is, will they mess up the release or not? I don't know. We shall see. Okay. What's next on the hit list, y'all? I gotta make this quick. They said I was only I could only be gone for 30 minutes to film this video, so. Okay, they got the pigeons, they got the Parises, they got the Freddies. Let's see what they got right here. Cool. Here's some nostalgic yeah. stuff, yeah, some old some stuff. Kind of, but y'all know, miss, every time man. when you find an old SB it like might, this, it might it's not. always a small it's size. Already, it's always a small so. size. Happens every time. Yeah. See that right there? Right Everything. They got the Eminem 2s, Yeezy 1s, Yeezy 2s. How much some some more nostalgic these, right? stuff for you guys right there. But I need a 13, man. I need a 13. I'm struggling. Where the 13 at? I need some old nostalgic stuff. Nope, nothing over there. Uh, all right, let me hit you guys with a quick B-roll sequence. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. I was walking around. I, I saw a couple tables while you guys were watching the B-roll. And let me tell you, <laughs> I didn't find nothing. But it's okay. I'm still looking. I know I'm supposed to be like looking at you guys and talking to y'all, but I'm sorry because I'm looking at the tables at the same time. Okay, this table got some heat on it. Let's see what they got. We got the trophy rooms. That's a good one. Okay, got some Jordan We The Best. The doll, doll shoes. Okay. Got the Kobe's. Oh, this is a 13 right here. Uh-oh. They got the Kobe's in the 13. That might be the play, but that's, that's still new though. UNC 4. Okay, got the market ones right here, the low tops. Bruh. I'm in the car. What's your favorite shoe on your table? So I did menthols down there. Rocking with the menthols? Yeah. It's crazy, bro. What size are these? 12. 12. How much are you asking for those? 11,500. 11,500 for a size 12. That's crazy. You remember how many pairs were made of those? Not many. Not I just many. remember, I feel like I've never seen that often. Yeah, I think it was like around 200 something. 200 pairs? Okay. This is a crazy shoe for those. We're looking at nostalgic stuff. It's funny because these are actually pretty nostalgic. Ask a lot of people that was collecting back in the day. They remember these times. This is a good one right here. Okay. Dope. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you, sir. Yo, I'm seeing some stuff. The one thing I can say is they got some stuff. That's a good thing to know. They got some stuff, but they don't got no size 13. I need that size 13. It's so bringing hot out here. Let me explain it to y'all. It was like 111 yesterday, and then it was like, it was like 109 today. It's been way too cold, like or way too cold. It's been way too hot, and I wish it was cold somewhere I've been, but it's like, even places with AC, it's hot. I'm, I'm melting out here, man. You got some new pickup? We're talking about nostalgia today, and this is a great new pickup. Wow. Wow. Yo. You just got these? Nah, I brought them in, oh, man. Oh, you brought them in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I was making a video today about nostalgic shoes. Man, come on, man. I love Everybody it. Everybody want Yeezy slides, man. That's what I'm talking about, Russ. Yeah. Come on, man. Fine. Appreciate, Appreciate it, Appreciate the big dog. Yes, sir. What's up, you guys? Uh, I'm George Graham from Jackson, Mississippi, and uh, Look out uh, DNA show, follow and subscribe to the show. We got a really nice channel. I've been following for a couple years, man. Do real good content. Appreciate it, bro. Okay, they got some Kobe's over here. These are all size 14. Halo Kobe. Got a Terra Squad. Now this is nostalgic. This is new. 
That's what's crazy. It's like new and nostalgic at the same time. I don't know how do I feel about this. How much do you think they're asking for these? Look at this. This is bringing good vibes right here, bro. Oh my gosh. This might be the one. I wonder how much more this. How much? How much are you asking for the Terra Squad Forces? Three hundred. And what about the Kobe Halo? Three fifty. Three fifty. Hmm. Okay. Wait. So this is a fourteen and everything. Only fourteen. Ah. Okay. And you don't got no thirteens in these. Just twelve. We got twelve and fourteen, and I need a thirteen. Okay. I'm looking for something nostalgic, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is new, but it's nostalgic at the same time. With the TS, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to come back. I'm going to see if maybe maybe he can work a deal with me. Because I, I got to be able to get a size and then trade it for my size, which is going to take more work. And then I got to probably have to pay somebody extra money on top. We're going to see. I got to hit one more lap around here. We got to hit, like, three more rows. We're going to see. Huh? So you burning calories today. Bruh. I'm getting it in today. He said I'm burning calories right now. Everybody burning calories just watch standing. It's so hot. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna be back. He said he wants 300. I gotta check the prices on those. You know, sometimes they be taxing. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? What's, doing, bro? <laughs> What's happening? How you doing? He was like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, this table over here. This looks like they got some old stuff. They got some, ooh, wait a minute. Let's see what they got over here. Oh, good memories right here. And this pair is actually really, really icy, so I respect that, kudos. I'm finding stuff, that's what I can say. At first I was like, oh, we're not gonna be able to find that much nostalgic stuff. You know, everybody's gonna be just having the new everything, but there are some tables sprinkled in here that are looking good. They got some nostalgia, they got some, you know, older sneakerhead vibes. So, oh, damn, that's a size 13, but those things are beat. Oh man. They got the Dornbecker. Man, they got the Dornbecker up tempos over there. I know that's not too nostalgic, but I like that shoe. I don't have it in my collection yet. Let's go stop by the booth and see how my wife is doing because I've been going for longer than 30 minutes. She told me I had 30 minutes. I'm at 33 minutes right now. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens. Wish me luck, boys. No, I was playing. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a big size, though. How much size is this? 15? Yeah, 16? 16. Dornbecker 2. That's a big one. That's a, hey, nostalgic, though. Let me show you guys real quick. It's a good shoe. Man. How much y'all asking for those? Like 800. 800? That's solid. And they still brand new? Yeah. Yeah. That's solid. Okay. I'm looking for something nostalgic, man. They're doing coin tosses. Everybody over here doing coin tosses. I need some, I need some nostalgia in my life, bro. I need some like, I've been collecting for 15 years type shoe in my life. Ah. Uh, oh, they got the honey kids. Now, now we talking now. Can't forget about these. I'm trying yeah, to sell them to my talking. guy right now. Now the we talking about that Highest offer is 32. No, I'm, uh, three, uh, three. Um, I'm trying to get them gone. Yeah, those are fire. What yeah. size are those? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Yep. Yep. Show the back side, show the back side. Brand new. Yeah, she ain't gonna find these. Oh, we. Now, the, the downside of these we found is a little soul separation, but they fall for Yeah, those are so clean, bro. Yeah, now we talking. Yes, okay. Okay, so they got a couple of gems on the table. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I like that. Yes, sir, appreciate yes, it, bro. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Yup. Hey, that's right there, that's that fire. You know what I'm talking about. Come on now. Some people might even say that's the best SB of all time. I've heard it before. Yeah, I heard it. I know. They said it. But guess what? They might be right now. I was playing. I don't know which one. I don't know what my favorite SB is of all time. What's your favorite SB of all time? Drop a comment down below. And y'all better not say no SB that came out like last year or nothing. Like, give me an old SB. Some some real bangers. I've been going for 34 minutes. I said I had 30 minutes. I'm over time. And I haven't found anything yet. No, that's not good. So what am I gonna do? I don't know. I found a lot of good stuff, but it's not my size. Ah. What's up? Let's see if the shorts fit. You gotta use a string on them. Yeah. Does the shorts fit? A uh, bit. The shorts is 40. We're running low on sizes and colors too, depending on which one. Is that the last one on the cream? 
That's the last pair. I said loosen them up a little bit so you take them off. Okay, so let me give y'all a quick rundown to it. A booth real quick. Hey now, shopdnashow.com. Oh, speaking of that, we got that on the side of the booth right here. Shopdnashow.com, flyer. And then over here, the banner is looking A1, chef's kiss. Mwah. Amazing. We got the merch out here. Y'all know we in Dallas. So you know we had to represent. Every city we go to, we do it. And then over here, y'all seen this already. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Shout out to wifey. She's hard at work. She's modeling and working at the same time. And I, I am on the hunt for some nostalgia. Where oh where can I find it? Honestly, that Terror Squad. Let me do some price checking on the Terror Squad. One second. Okay, so the Terror Squad Air Force One. Right here it says, ask is 500. People are offering 200. There's no sales on this one. But if I look at like other sizes, and prices oh that's a 13 it's a size 12. okay so people are around like 260. so after fees that's like above 200 something like that hmm. so the dude over there he wants 300 for the pair hold on let's take a sit down for this one look at the background this is icy okay so the guy wants 300 for the terror squad air force ones the picture i just showed you mm -hmm. that shoe is like a nostalgic sneaker from the past okay and it was a PE for Fat Joe. Do they re-release They're them releasing just... them now for the first time to the public. Okay. There's a black pair and a white pair. Oh, a white and blue, the ice blue ones. And there's other ones too. So he wants 300. The question is, is that nostalgic enough to go into the booth? It's our early release, they haven't came out yet. Is it worth the cop? It's above market ask and sell right now, like based off of like, actual offers yeah but at the same time we're at sneaker con i'm making a video da, da, yeah. da, like is it worth me doing it for the video do i pay the extra 50 or whatever or do i try to get it for retail you know where do i where did i go from this situation um i like them I, I like the the colorway i okay. like the the style of the shoe yeah I think if I was going solely based off of the style of the shoe, I'd be like, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, I like the fact that it's nostalgic for you. Okay. And, you know, it's like a little vibe. Yeah, 100%. Like, remember those uh, LeBron forces I got with the horse on them? Yes. And it had, like, the green? Yep. That's, like, nostalgia. Like, for me, crazy. Like, these, same thing. Like, they fall in that category. Yeah, so I, I say why not. So pay extra right now. It's and like get what, them. 50 bucks extra? Yeah, and that's the thing. It's not like I'm paying a lot extra. No, no. But if around was, market. If it was over 50, okay. maybe I'd be like, eh. Okay. But 50 is not that bad. Okay. I think it's a cop. Let's go get the shoes. <laughs> Alright, y'all. It's that time. You know what it means. We're about to cop some kicks and put them in the case. What I love to do, and when I get home, I'll give you guys a full in-depth review. I know it's a basic shoe, but at the same time, it's a nice shoe. There's a lot of history and nostalgia, and you know what that means. I love making videos about shoes like that. So stay tuned for a full review of those. But right now, we gotta cop the shoe. They got a bunch of size 12s and other sizes over here. They're not worn. They're not worn. These are not worn. Try it on. What do you think? Unbox them. These are clean. You like them? Yeah. Wait a minute, ten, real quick. I gotta go. Ooh. I give them a ten out of ten. Ten, 10 out of ten. Woo! These are clean. I would wear these. I cannot wait to review these when I get home. Oh my god. And they got the icy bottoms. You see the icy bottom on them? This is crazy. Let's put them in the case. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Now let's go get some final B-roll shot. Make it look cute, make it look sexy. And we'll wrap this video up.
Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Thank you.